It's recap time. I bring you one more recap. Today I'll explain an action thriller movie called One More Shot from the year 2024. So let's start. One More Shot is the sequel to the 2021 movie called One Shot, which showed Lieutenant Jake Harris, a Navy SEAL, arriving in Poland to rescue an alleged terrorist named Amin Mansour. Amin Mansour is planting a nuclear bomb in the heart of Washington, D.C., and Jake Harris is sent to retrieve Mansour so he can reveal the location of the bomb. Harris and his team get attacked by assassins sent by Hakim Sharif to retrieve Mansour for themselves, but Harris manages to escape from Poland with Mansour and fly to America. Now, the sequel begins with Agent Jennifer Lomax, from Homeland Security, raiding the port of Virginia with her team. They have tracked the terrorist Amin Mansur's bomb at this port, and their mission is to apprehend it before it reaches Washington, D.C. Lomax and her team switch on their body cameras to record the raid and eliminate the terrorist henchmen. They open the shipping container and find it empty. Lomax asks one of the dying henchmen where the bomb is, but he starts speaking Arabic. She asks in Arabic, but the henchman has no clue where the bomb is. Now Mike Marshall, the head of the CIA, is heading to Baltimore Airport with his team and Niesha Mansour, Amin Mansour's wife. He asks Niesha if she's aware of the bomb's location, but she too is in the dark. Niesha gets upset because she is pregnant with Amin's baby and hasn't seen him in four months. Marshall instructs Niesha to make Amin open up to her and reveal the bomb's location. Now, they arrive at the airport where Harris and Mansour's flight is landing. Marshall and his team are welcomed by Agent Lomax, who informs them that the entire airport has been evacuated and the location is secure. She mentions that the media has been informed that there's been a natural gas leak, making the airport a no-fly zone within a mile. Mansour is brought to Marshall, accompanied by Lieutenant Jake Harris and a few Navy SEALs. Mansour reunites with an angry Nisha, who informs him she's pregnant with his son. Meanwhile, Marshall questions Harris about the assault in Poland. Harris reveals the attack wasn't random, and the assassins were properly trained soldiers who were waiting to abduct Mansur. Harris considers it an inside job and suspects Marshall's involvement in it. Marshall orders Harris to leave the airport and report back to his admiral, Admiral Mulholland in Little Creek, immediately. Agent Hooper and Agent Ryan escort Harris to the exit while Harris video calls his wife. She is relieved to find Harris alive because most of his teammates died in Poland. He tells her to go to Florida for safety while he notices three armed men walking past him, talking about capturing Mansur alive. Jake Harris ends the call and quietly follows them downstairs, only to find Agent Ryan dead while the rest arm themselves with weapons. Harris attacks them from behind and takes out three of them, but more arrive. Harris runs towards Marshall's team, and gunfire starts blazing. Harris accompanies Mansour and his wife, while leading the way with Agent Hooper. They exit the airport to enter their vehicles but get ambushed outside too. Lomax's gets shot in the arm while Harris loads Mansour and Nisha, and drives away in the armored car with Hooper. The assassins block the road by laying spike nets to puncture the tires. Harris and Hooper exit the vehicle and fire at the assassins, while Harris removes the nets. They drove away again while being chased, but Hooper got shot in the stomach. Hooper is bleeding out in the car, so Nisha helps her because she's a doctor. The assassins keep blocking their way, so they return to the airport to unite with Marshall. The assassins stop firing at them to retrieve Mansour, but Harris manages to escape from them safely with Nisha and Mansour. He enters the airport with them and pressures Mansur into revealing whether he knows the assassins. Mansur denies knowing any of them, but the assassins catch on to them. They all hide, while the assassins scatter to find them. Harris tackles them one by one and takes their guns. The assassins find the Mansers, but Harris comes to the rescue. Harris stabs the assassin and unlocks his phone, discovering the men are working for Farbridge, a private security organization that provides military-trained contract killers. Harris pins Amin to the wall and asks why the killers want him alive. He threatens him to disclose the location of the bomb, but Amin refuses because he knows that once he revels the location, Harris will leave him to die. Harris proceeds to protect the couple and tells them to wear the assassin's safety vest. He uncuffs Amin and keeps the handcuff to himself while Amin helps Niesha wear the vest and takes the assassin's gun. The assassins are led by Dunbar and Campbell, who are discussing their plan and worrying about facing their boss. Robert Jackson. They take the elevator and meet Jackson. Jackson scolds them for failing to find a handcuffed terrorist and orders them to find Mansour quickly because the President of the United States is taking off in 90 minutes. At the same time, Newman, another killer, informs Jackson that they have access to the CCTV footage and that they have launched jammers to disable cell phone services. 
Dunbar reports that they still have 40 men alive, but they lost more men than they expected. Jackson questions one of the hostages, who is the manager at the airport. Jackson asks him if he can give him their cargo manifest so they can find the bomb container. Newman informs Jackson that some of the CIA agents survived, and they discover Harris with the Mansours on some stairs. Jackson brings in the manager to identify Mansour's location, so he leads Dunbar to the stairs. Jackson orders Campbell to accompany them and meet him at the cargo docking with Mansour. The manager leads the assassins to the stairwell but acts as if he misled them after seeing Harris hiding behind the wall. Dunbar threatens to shoot him, so the manager takes them to the other side, clearing the path for Harris. Harris now asks Amin again about the assassin's identity and why they want him alive. Niesha also begs him to tell the truth to Harris, but Mansour refuses again, claiming he doesn't know. Mansour mentions that he felt he was being watched by someone, so that's why he changed the delivery method of the bomb to cover his tracks. Mansour reveals that no one knows about this information, not even his handler. Harris asks for the handler's name, but Mansour himself doesn't know. He mentions that he does all the dealings with his handler remotely. Mansour got arrested in the previous movie before he could inform his handler of this information, and later Harris rescued him from prison. Nisha gets heartbroken, telling Mansour that he is not the man she once loved. Harris now tells the couple to move quickly so they can team up with Marshall and the CIA, but Mansour questions them. He suggests the CIA might have a mole because only they were informed about his flight back to Baltimore, but Harris still doubts Mansour is hoarding more secrets. They enter a hallway where they hear Dunbar and Campbell still being misled by the airport manager. Harris and the Mansours quickly hide when two assassins appear in front of them to report to Campbell. One assassin walks towards Harris, and Harris sneakily stabs his throat and covers his mouth. He moves forward with the couple but Campbell executes the manager, which makes Nisha squeal. The assassins start shooting at them, while Harris leads them to safety. Harris fights two more men while Nisha and Mansur make a run downstairs. They get trapped there because the escape door requires a keycard. Harris arrives with his keycard and unlocks the door for them. They enter the storage room while the assassins shoot at them. Harris takes out some of the men while Mansour and Nisha run away from the exit door. Harris is out of bullets, so he throws a grenade at them. He jumps on them and fights them hand to hand. He takes their guns and shoots them with them. As Harris gets outnumbered, he runs away and catches up with the Mansours. Amin shoots a man behind Harris and saves him. They reach the CIA while more men shoot from behind. Harris reunites with Marshall, who informs him that this place is safe for now. Harris levels down with Amin and promises to ensure Nisha's life if he tells him where the bomb is. Amin is in shock and sits down. He notices Nisha helping people even in this situation. Nisha sees Lomax's wound and patches it with another nurse. She sits next to Amin who's worried about his death and his unborn child. Lomax now approaches Harris and asks him if Mansur talked and who the assassins are. Harris tells her that they need to move Mansur and his wife to a secure location and then he'll surely reveal the information. And as for the assassins, he shows Lomax the phone he retrieved, revealing they are contract killers from Farbridge, who has links with the intelligence community. Lomax now raises suspicions about Marshall. She wonders how he wasn't in Poland with Harris as if he were trying to avoid the showdown. They both wonder if Marshall is the mole. Meanwhile, Marshall shows Mansour the footage of Lomax's raid at the port. Lomax intervenes and questions why Marshall's showing the video to Mansour. Marshall informs her that he called Homeland Security to ask about Lomax's raid, but it was unauthorized. He points his gun at Lomax and orders her to surrender her weapon. She argues that she had raw intelligence and very little time to wait for protocols. On the other hand, Mansour hears Lomax speaking Arabic in the raid video and recognizes her. He reveals that she is her handler and she coordinated this entire assault on them. Mansour assures Harris that Lomax is behind all this, and she even knows that he sent the bomb here, at this airport. Before they can act, the assassins breach in and start shooting at them. Mansur tries to run away with Nisha from the back, but he gets captured by Dunbar and Campbell. Nisha runs away but Harris springs into action and fights Dunbar, while Mansur struggles to run away from Campbell. Harris gets beaten by Dunbar and gets kicked down. Before Dunbar can finish him off, a nurse shoots Dunbar but misses. Dunbar shoots her in the head while the assassins eliminate all of the CIA members except Marshall. Marshall mocks Dunbar for betraying his country, but Lomax arrives and shoots Marshall in the head, revealing she was behind all this setup. She takes Mansour to a room for questioning. She reveals she tracked Mansour's company's exports and discovered he sent air freight to this airport from Istanbul. Mansour wonders why she needs him if she already knows the bomb's location. 
Lomax informs him that she needs the serial number of the cargo crate that's hoarding the bomb, given that there are thousands of cargo crates and they don't have enough time. Lomax informs him that she wants to bomb Capitol Hill in Washington because most senior and powerful members of the nation will be there, including heads of the Department of Defense and the National Security Agency. She also reveals that she will take their fingerprints to gain access to all of the country's key strategic defenses. Once that happens, the country will be on its knees and at her mercy. So she asks Mansoor for the serial number of the cargo. Mansoor refuses to comply, so she shoots his thigh and Dunbar starts torturing him. Mansoor still doesn't answer, so she orders Dunbar to group with Jackson and meet her at the cargo dock while she tortures Mansoor's wife. Dunbar heads to the dock, while Campbell takes a guard with him to find Nisha. They search down the hall rooms one by one while Harris stalks the guard. Harris battles the guard and chokes him to death, while Campbell finds Nisha and comes looking for his guard. Campbell finds the dead body of his guard and gets jumped by Harris. Harris takes him down and knocks him out by punching him a dozen times. Nisha stops him from lashing out, so he takes their gun and shoots both of them. Harris starts wearing the dead guard's garb to blend in, while Nisha gives up fighting. Harris encourages her and reminds her that her husband is being tortured, and if she doesn't help him, millions more will die. Harris now takes her upstairs to Lomax, acting like her men while in disguise. Lomax takes the gun from Harris and orders him to remove Nisha's vest. The good wife cries and begs Mansoor not to reveal anything, but Lomax threatens to shoot her in the stomach. Mansoor doesn't break so Lomax orders Harris to punch Nisha in the belly. Harris resists but before he can do it Mansoor cracks and gives up the serial numbers. Lomax orders one of her goons to share the crate number with Jackson while she takes care of Mansoor. She wants to cover her tracks by painting Mansoor as responsible for the bomb attack. She cleans his tears and hands him a speech to read while she records him. She plans to release his speech footage to the media to throw people off her scent. Mansoor reads the speech but cries and refuses to read it so Lomax threatens to shoot Nisha again. Mansoor gets serious and reads the speech where he claims to be responsible for the bombing that is about to happen and that he is doing it because of racial propaganda. Lomax thanks him and shoots him. She orders her men to finish off Nisha as well and bring their bodies while she boards the plane with Jackson. Lomax leaves and Harris fights off the assassins. He shoots them and stabs them with their own weapons while Nisha tries to stop Mansoor's bleeding. Mansoor's last words are to eliminate his video so his son can never find it. Harris assures Nisha that someone will come and save her while he puts an end to Lomax's schemes. Harris now enters on the airport bus with Dunbar and his men. Dunbar points out Harris's disguise and attacks him. Harris manages to shoot and kill most of the assassins. Only Dunbar remains. They both duel in hand-to-hand -hand combat but this time Harris knocks him out. Harris runs away from the train after more assassins shoot at him. He enters the subway's underground tunnels where he eliminates Dunbar's men one by one. They try to take him out with a grenade but still fail. Once again, only Dunbar remains, and this time, Harris decides to put an end to him. He pushes Dunbar on a sharp blade and finishes him off. Harris now makes his way back upstairs and heads to the docks. He notices Jackson and his men dragging the cargo and opening it. They locate the bomb and load it on an ambulance for deception. Lomax orders Newman to take off the jammers so she can make a call. Newman disables the jammers, and Harris quickly calls in his superiors. He informs Admiral Mulholland about Lomax and her plans and requests immediate backup. Newman spots Harris so Harris finishes her quietly. Meanwhile Lomax calls her superior, revealing she's a pawn too. She reports to a mystery man with a distorted voice that she has the bomb that's en route, and she has a video confession of Mansoor. Jackson now prepares to leave in the ambulance, but Harris fires at them and punctures the tires. He tactically shoots down Jackson's henchman but doesn't find Jackson in the ambulance. Harris spots Lomax and marches to stop her, but Jackson attacks him. He snatches the gun away from Harris and unleashes his martial arts skills on him. Harris tries to fight him but Jackson overpowers him again and again. Harris runs out of energy to fight so he uses Monsoor's handcuffs and cuffs Jackson to a bar. Harris takes a gun from a dead assassin nearby and decides to shoot Jackson, but Jackson reveals it's useless to stop Lomax because this case is bigger than all of them, as it is revealed more shady people behind Lomax are pulling the strings. Harris climbs on the airplane to stop Lomax, but she reveals it's too late now. Lomax turns on her loudspeaker, and a man on the call reveals that the president is on a plane, and they are waiting to intercept him while the rest of their men are waiting to take out the Joint Chiefs. Harris tells Lomax that all her men are dead, and the bomb is not leaving this airport because he called in the FBI. Lomax drops her phone and laughs at Harris, claiming the bomb was only the beginning, and much more chaos is on the way.
The FBI arrives and separates the two. They take Lomax away, while FBI agent Long informs Harris that Admiral Mulholland wants a full debrief from him. Harris agrees and sits down to catch a breath while they head out of the plane. Harris picks up Lomax's phone and deletes Mansur's confession, fulfilling his last words. The movie ends here. I hope you liked this movie recap. Please comment down on what you liked about this movie and what scene you liked, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next video.